What's good, y'all? It's the girl. I am my name. And we here on the screen, on your screen, back again. But nah, for real. What's good, y'all? Today I got another story sound for y'all. Y'all suggest me some more videos to do. I be trying to do the same type of videos. Y'all see me switch it up a little bit. But one thing about me, I'm going to get on this camera and I'm going to talk. So today I'm going to give y'all the story time on the time. It's called She Left Me. So this is story time on the time that I was supposed to get a ride from someone that I knew. And they left me at the event. So we finna get into it. This is actually a recent situation. I had actually told this story time and did a video on it. But it deleted. I mean, no, it didn't delete. My old iPad that I used to record on it was like terrible quality as far as the sound so it was just no good the video was bomb i loved the video but it just won't give it it wasn't it wasn't gonna work you would have that video you would have to listen like this nobody doing it but we won't get straight to it so this take place last year basically a lot of people might know who i'm talking about whatever the case may be it ain't nothing deep we gonna so, get to it um Let's get to it. So basically, like we would have football games. Then we would have football games at my school, or whatever. And this was a week that my mom had went out of town. So with that being said, I didn't have no ride. So my mother wasn't in town. I'm trying to give me a free ride. So um, I called up my homegirl, who I always do stuff with. Like who I know, like her mother told me if I ever need a ride, I need to be picked up shit, come get me. Like it was never nothing about nothing. With her mom, her mom loved me. Period. But her mom was having like car trouble at the time, so I guess that's why she was like, No, I'm not gonna be able to give you a ride or whatever. Because she ended up coming, but I guess she was just like, That's not gonna work. Because if I probably would have um, came after school or something, I probably would have been able to go. But I guess it just wasn't gonna work because it's like her she her mother called on the control so fast. Even though I don't think her mother would have minded taking me, but she was just trying to look out for her mother on the strength of I know what's up with us, like I know what's going on, which is understandable. Like, well, she told me no, it was what it was. Like, I was like, all right. Like, because at the time, I didn't even know that when she was like, she wasn't going to be able to. I was like, okay. But she's not going to be able to. So, yeah. So, she was telling me, she was like, um, I can't give you a ride, but um, Kay be giving people a ride. She's going to be able to give you a ride or whatever. So, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm about to call her to see if she's going to give me a ride. Because, mind you, my granny was going to take me to the place but she wasn't going to bring me back because she was like she don't drive at night time so when do you drive at <laughs> but she was like she don't drive at night time so whatever so um i called k i'm like because i think yeah k was driving at the time like she could drive so that's how she was like oh yeah she was picking up people whatever so i called k i'm like yeah you think you would give me a ride back home after the game whatever like i'm trying to come but i need a ride or whatever like my granny she gonna take me, but I need a ride back. She was like, yeah, I'll do that. You need a ride there too. I was like, nah, I just need a ride back. Cause I don't ever want to make nobody do more than they need to do. Like it wasn't that. Like I just need a ride back home. I just need a way home or whatever. So she like, cool. Like I'll take you back home. Like that's good. Like you good. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. She finna give me. I'm like, all right, I'm straight. I'm super straight. So time come, I get dressed, go to the game. And it's a regular day. Like, we at the game, kicking me, watching the game. I really don't know nothing about football. So, at the time, I really wouldn't even watch the game. I'd be in there kicking it, talking to everybody, walking around. Like, this the club. Football games really be fun because it's better than basketball games. Because basketball games, you can't really walk around and do nothing. Because it ain't that much space to walk around and do all of that. But football be cool because you can walk around while the game going on. And sometimes it get boring. Football looking kind of long. Like, we've been here four hours. Y'all ain't won yet. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, yeah. So, it's a regular day. Me and my homegirl at the time, we real, like, she used to make my day. So, me and her, we kicking it. We cool. We together. Like, that was my girl. So, yeah. So, fast forward the game and all of that. And it's time to go. Mind you, Kay was a cheerleader, so she did. She either did cheer or drill, or drill, one of those. Basically, she performed at the game, so she had to come regardless. And I couldn't leave until she left anyway. So I'm like, I gotta wait for her to make sure she's ready 
what she done with her teammates, et cetera, et cetera. Or whatever, right? So yeah. So the game over, whatever. Um my friend, she she was the type, like she gonna always make sure that I'm straight. My friend the time. She always gonna make sure that I'm straight. So she like, you good? Um go ahead and call K because you know it's gonna exactly go. Like make sure I'm like, yeah, I'm already like, doing that. Like that was like a sister. Here. So I call K and I'm like, uh yeah, like I'm ready when you ready, like where you at or whatever. She like, I'm changing out my 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 uh, performing clothes or whatever. I'm finna be right there. I'm like, all right. I get off the phone with her and uh, I walk to the front to meet her. I see her and we all like, cause I think when I got there, I spoke to her, but you know, she performing or she in character. So there's only so much we can say, even though every time we pop out, we making the scene. Um, hey Kay, hey boo, camera in her face. What you doing? Da, da, da. They like, oh, our coach said we can't have talk to nobody. Hey, what y'all doing? Kay, Kay, who, who not? Y'all guys to know me. Like, YouTube really don't get to see the real me, but in real life, I be lit. Like, your coach said that to you, not me, first of all. So I think I did speak to her when I first got there, but you know, it was like a speak from a distance. So we see K, we kicking it, we like, hey, K, da da da, speaking to her. We all speaking. Mind you, at the games, like, everybody just happy to be there. We all outside of school with each other. Like, we just vabbing, really. It's always like that. So after the game over, we get to walk into the car. Um, as we on the way to the car, Kay has split up with me because she has started talking to somebody and I start talking to somebody and then it's like, you know, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, maybe she just stepped off real quick because, you know, like I'm not gonna be up nobody tail, you know? So I'm like, all right, she's probably just like, she know that I have to go home with her, but I, I'm, I'm noticing that she stepped off because at first I didn't notice right away, but I eventually noticed like, okay, she stepped off or whatever. I'm all right. She stepped up, but I'm like, she know I gotta. I'm going home, right? Like, she know that she gotta take me home. So I'm like, all right. She gonna text me or call me. That's what I'm telling myself. So I'm still talking, associating, like talking or whatever. So as we step out the uh, gate and we step into the street, like towards the cars, I'm like, dang, where K at? But I'm like, no, nah, like she know I'm coming with her. That's what I'm telling myself. So we step out the street, we step to the car, we get to talking to my other um, homegirl, we get to talking to her mom in the car, we speaking to all the parents, like, we be thinking we got it going on, we speaking to all the parents, all y'all, y'all think y'all got a boyfriend, who he is, what's his name, what's her name, sir, like, we on that, so we, like, we just be doing the most, being extra for no reason, so we at the car, we talking to mom, chilling and all the dad, talking to her, walking her to the car like we just you know like when it's time to go it really ain't time to go but i was like k would have told me come on i would have went on or whatever but you know what i'm saying i'm just telling y'all how extra i am so yeah so mind you we kicking it we talking to the member whatever mind you this seemed faster than what it is but really when you in the midst of having genuine conversation and really like gabbing and gathering stuff really like slip your mind so time slipping my mind like and it wasn't a long time this probably all happened within a matter of like five minutes like this wasn't a long time but i'm just saying i'm telling it faster than how it happened for real so yeah so i'm standing at the car we were talking to um one of so we all were in track together that's how we know each other i know k i know k because of track that's what i'm trying to say so the person in the car we were standing at talking to i run track with her so this like we just all talking to people that we know is so all I hear is um bye out the window and I'm like I said hold up wait a minute something ain't right what mind you this is how we all talk to each other like my track team was like very close knit close knit like sisterhood like it gave sisters we all talk to each other crazy we all be on our bully about each other we always check each other about everything like that's just how we was so her saying that out the window, it wasn't on no shady, no shady, no shady tip. It was just her speaking to her sister, basically. So, even though, like, this was the beginning of the school year, so I lucky didn't really know Kay like that, but, like, we act like we knew each other, all of us. So, she said that out the window. I turn around. I turn around and my mouth dropped, and I start looking at my homegirl because... Like I said, there was so much going on. I don't even think my homegirl had, re my homegirl at the time had remembered that um, I was supposed to be riding with Kate. Cause like I said, we was vabbing. Like if you don't know what's, if you ain't know what's happening tomorrow, you're not thinking about tomorrow right now, you know? So 
I'm looking at her like, but she wasn't catching the vibe because I don't think she was on that right now. Like, so I'm looking at where my mouth dropped. I'm like, did she just leave me? So mind you, where I'm standing, like it's a football game. Everybody leaving at the same time. I can still see K Car. Like K Car is literally a walking distance. If I wanted to run up to the car and get in the car, I could have got in there. But at the end of the day, I'm knowing that she know I'm supposed to be riding with her. So I'm not gonna force myself on nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I get the text of her. I'm like, I know I call her. I call her like three times. She don't answer each time. I'm standing here looking at her in the car. Like at this point you ignore me. All my messages going through everything. Like and you know you in that car without me. Like so I'm texting her and I'm like, so you just gonna leave. I got the messages. I might put them on the screen. Wait. I read I read them in my last story down. I know at the time I don't see her number, so I don't know. I never had to say, but it just popped up on my phone, so I don't know, but yeah, I'm texting her. I'm like, oh, so you just gonna leave? Like what's up? Like I'm supposed to be going home with you or whatever. She not responding, like, at all. She don't respond to me and so the car pull all the way off to, like, where I can't see it. Like, she gone by this time. Like, when she finally responded to me, I could no longer see her. Like, she done already went to the street. I'm watching the car. Her car sat there for a minute because it's a line to lead a football game or whatever. So, I'm texting her. I'm saying it. <laughs> Mind you, I'm overly texting her and calling her just to know, like, I'm not tripping. Like, you see me hitting your phone. So, she finally hit me back when she get out of the thing, whatever. And she like, oh. She like, oh, I forgot. We do not care. She like, oh, I forgot. She like, I gotta go get my brother or whatever. Mind you. I hit her with a slick. I'm like, I don't care. But I ain't say it like that. I said it like in fighting words. I was like, I don't care about that. Like, because the end of the day, don't have nothing to do with me. If that was the case, you could have been kicked into me like that. Like, what if you was my only ride home? Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't do that to nobody. Like, that's not cool. Like, I didn't find it funny. I didn't find it cool. I didn't find it, oh, I forgot. Like, oh, I forgot. Let me turn around. That's what I want to hear. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, all right. Mind you, like, I learned to keep my cool a lot because that right there was like, <laughs> like what? So I'm like, all right, she just flat out left me. Like that's what went on. And I really felt this way. Like betrayal would be real. When you a person that didn't dealt with like real betrayal a lot from a lot of people, small stuff like that really do something to you. So it was kind of like, cause it's like, you want to go take me home. That's cool. Like it, if you told me no, I wouldn't have been tripped out like nothing. Cause it ain't really no difference from you taking me home, pretending like you're going to take me and just leaving me. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So you could have just kicked it like, I ain't trying to take you like, cool. So, yeah. So I'm heated at this point. Like, I really just felt the type of way. I probably shared a couple words with her because I was really just thrown off. So at this point, I kicked some around um, homegirl at the time. I'm like, yeah, girl, you know, Kate was taking me home. That was her pulling off. She didn't left me. She like, for real, she like, let me call her. I forgot what she said. She tried to call her something. But we end up just discussing it or whatever. So one of the other girls that I run track with, she came over there talking to her. She really just messy, like, real messy. But you know how you know certain stuff about certain people, but you just don't pay no man for real because certain people don't deserve a certain reaction. So you play dumb with them. So she over there, she talking to us. She was finna give me a ride home. But you would tell when somebody be genuinely concerned about you and when somebody just be nosy, like, and that's gonna come into play in this story. So she was gonna get me right home, but her people was like, you know, had other her people had to, you know, so she couldn't. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, I ain't never throwing myself with nobody. Like, push can shit, I would have just caught the Uber. But at the end of the day, I'm not even from out this way. First of all, then it's nighttime. Like, I'm not trying to just hop in no Uber. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't really mind it. Like, my people would make sure I got home in the Uber, but still, like, you know. So, my homegirl who was saying, like, her mother wasn't going to be able to take me. Her mother had ended up being the one to take me home or whatever. So, it's just funny how, like, word get around. So, when I get in the car, um, one of the other girls you want to track with that wasn't even at the event at all texts me, like, oh, you good? How did you get home? If you not trying to get me home, don't text me, ask me how, how did I get home. Like, you know, I'm speaking on this situation from experience. That's how I felt. So, I didn't respond because I'm like, now y'all discussing it. 
basically like it was blowing me but it's like when you come from a certain environment like you i'm gonna play oblivious and dumb to this because i know how i could really take it like that's how i felt in the moment so i'm like mind y'all let me but i'm skipping the story before i even got in the car with my homegirl my mom i had called my mom basically telling her like the girl that I was supposed to bring home left me, but I guess I never was like real lit. She was in Mexico at the time. I guess she was real lit. I be telling her she like, she acting like I never told her. So at this point now, she threw me off. I didn't hung up the phone with her, big gang to her, cause I'm like, am I not sitting here telling you that I just got left and you smiling in my face, acting like I'm saying like I just won won the lottery? Like that threw me off. But yeah, so. I had gotten the car in my homegirl. She ended up taking me home. And that's what she told me. She was like, the only reason I had told you I couldn't take you home earlier was because I met the car been tripping. But her mother was always real cool. Her mother used to feed me, like, all of that. Like, clutch. Her mother used to feed me all the time. So, her mother was like, you know, boo, I'll take you home. She was like, you ever need a ride home from anywhere, I'll come get you. Even if you're not with homegirl, I'll still come get you. Like, you ever need a ride, you need to be picked up, any of that, I'll get you. Like, her mother was cool. They both was cool. Very much gave, like, family that. Like, that's just what it was with them. So, I get in the car with them. I had got the message. I'm, we talking about the situation in the car. Like, me, her mother, all of that. Her mother was like, I don't like that either. Like, her mother was like, I'm not feeling that. Da, da, da. Like, that's unacceptable. My homegirl at the time, she was telling me, she was like, I really didn't expect it from her. In my head, I'm like, me either. Because I wouldn't have asked her. Like, who does? Like, come on. So, they dropped me home, whatever. I get in the house. Talk to my girl about it. She like, Mm. and i'm just thinking to myself like that's crazy like she really left me like and it's like all i can think about in this situation i'm just gonna tell y'all as i hate i'll be hating talking like this but i'm gonna just tell y'all as the stuff i was thinking like what was going through my mind in the situation but all i could think in the situation was the old me would have treated her because i ain't gonna lie when all of it happened i started to text her and tell her to come back right here so i could handle her because she really threw me off like i'm not gonna lie but so many things had happened for me in my life that like made me like they opened my mind what if i feel like if I, I feel like if i said that to her i'd be doubling that so some just told me like don't even take it there like it's really not worth your time and that just show you you don't got to get into her because really the old me every time i seen her i would have made her feel it in her chest like how i felt about it but really i was like i'm i've been trying to change really so i'm like I just told myself at the end of the day, that just shows you what type of person she is. At the end of the day, you don't rock with her. You don't like the situation. You don't like what she put on you. So you just don't have to speak to her no more. You don't have to be rude to her. You don't have to fake get on your bully. You don't have to see her and press her. You don't got to see her. And, you know, like, so I'm just like, all right. That's what I'm telling myself, like, off the humble tip because I've came a long way. So I'm like, okay. So that's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking, like, dang, I really could have, like, teed off on her for that because you don't play with nobody like that. So... Um, I get to the house, so my grandma about it. Da, da, da. Next day, I think we had school. Yeah, we definitely had school the next day. So this is where like the story gonna really turn. <laughs> so yeah, boom, we had school the next day, and I came to school. Whatever, mind you, as soon as I get to school, like I'm already peeping the vibes. One thing about me, I always tell y'all, I'ma play dumb. That's just how I am. That's what I do. Like, so we gonna get to the story. I get to school, um, people like kind of asking me about it, but I'm really brushing them off because I'm already knowing like they want to instigate with me. First of all, I'm not no little girl. Mind y'all, this is me freshly in high school, but a lot of the kids I went to school with, I grew up faster than them and I'm cut from a different club. So y'all find this entertaining and y'all find this like some drama, but I didn't did this a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I didn't did this all my life. so. Y'all thinking this entertainment and it's something to get a laugh about or to get some, you know, like y'all thinking y'all gonna hype me up to fight or like some goofy. I don't operate like that. Like I already been there, done that. I don't even do that no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I get to school, people like they ask me about it. I'm like really brushing them off, whatever. Like I told y'all I'm on the track team. So it was this one girl that I ran track with. I could do a story time on her because I think that she stole from me. So we gonna talk about that too. But yeah um i don't have no issues with nobody y'all because i stood on what i stood on that all that's always it's no issues anybody in this story they know i don't have an issue with them it just is what it is it's my experience that's it so yeah 
so she had seen me and she was asking me she was like um girl she was like i gotta ask you something man you one thing i don't like y'all gonna see i don't like nobody that try to do stuff off the slick if you gonna come at me behind something pump your chest back you know so i'm gonna tell y'all what i mean so she like, oh yeah, I gotta talk to you about something. But she was just being like real friendly to me too. Like usually we was cool. I really liked her. I would take pictures of her. I got pictures of her on my phone right now. Like that was kind of like my girl. Like I kind of liked her. Like my first day, like we kind of clicked. But I kind of seen the type of girl she was. Anyways, my first day. But I still thought that she was cool. Like she gave me like little sis. Like she was just kind of. I liked her personality. Even though like she gave me kind of like wanted to be rowdy. Like I still was like whatever because I know how to handle my own stuff. So it don't matter. Like you know. So, she like, yeah, I gotta talk to you. I'm like, I'm already knowing what she gonna ask me. So I just kind of brushed her off. Cause I'm like, y'all thinking that this something to be hype about and it's not. Like, that was yesterday. I'm not tripping about that now. So she like, y'all got something to ask you. I'm, I brush her off. We get to talking and still doing what we're doing. Cause we had free period. We all got athletics together, but we ain't work out that day. Cause it was like the beginning of school. So we weren't really working out a whole lot. We've been working out all summer anyway. So we get to walking in the hallway and she like, yeah. So this is what I had to ask you, like what happened with you and Kay? But she like whispering to me. If you gonna be messy, get in the mix, get in the mix. Like don't fake get in the mix, get in the mix. So she like, oh, what happened between you and Kay, da da da. I'm like, I'm like, what happened between me and Kay? I had probably called her her name. I was like, she left me and I'm not cool with her. That's what happened. So she like, she looked behind her and came behind us and she like, who snap? And she started ducking and she tried to like big change the subject. I ain't like that because that means you being two-faced, you playing both sides. You already know what happened because you wasn't there. You, Kaden already told you or somebody that spoke to Kaden already told you what happened. You're just asking me to be messy and you being two-faced. That's why you didn't want Kay to see you asking me. And that's why I said I don't like stuff like that. If you gonna pump your chest, pump your chest. But mind you. I liked her, but that wasn't really necessarily like my friend. We just ran together, and I was, I was around her every day. I probably seen her more than like other people in my household, you know. Like, I ran with her, so I didn't feel as though I should check her behind it. I was just like, whatever. Like, I entertained it because I wanted her to tell her what I said. Like, that's the type of person I am. Like, I'm gonna entertain it because y'all trying to get a reaction out of me, and I'm gonna tell y'all. And it's like, I'm me at the end of the day. I'm gonna stand 100 by what I said because I said what I said. So I get into my Spanish class. I took a Spanish class with one of the girls I ran with. The same girl that her grandma was going to give me a ride. But you know, the situation was. So I took a class with her. I get in the class with her. This is why I said she was over there just being two-faced. Like everything going to always come to light. That's one thing I learned. So I get in the class with her. She sits directly behind me. I sit in front of her or whatever. She's behind me. She's like... Oh my God, I just feel like it's so much negative energy right now and I don't want to be in nothing. I don't know what's happening. I just feel like it's a lot going on right now. Mind you, it's not nothing going on. Y'all want it to be something going on. Y'all got something going on. This about me and I'm not even tripping. Y'all worry about what I got going on more than me. So, because they had made like a whole thing in their friend group. Like, I had spoke to like one of the boys in her friend group. and He was lucky acting funny, but I really spoke to him on purpose to see how he was coming. Really, I did that on purpose. So, um, yeah. So she says that to me or whatever. I'm already knowing why she's saying that. You saying that because you've been being two-faced. You don't want to get caught up. In your head, you're thinking like, oh, I hope that I don't get caught up um, being two-faced. That's why you said you feel like it's a lot of negative energy and you don't want to be any, in anything. Because how you going to be in something? But I'm already knowing, but like I said, I'm playing dumb with everybody because I don't owe y'all nothing. Like, y'all don't have to know how I feel about y'all. Ooh, look at that. On my clock. Oh, yeah, on my clock. <laughs> on my clock. But I'm like, y'all don't have to know how I feel about y'all. So I'm playing dumb. So she like, yeah. And she's telling me, like, what Kay told her. So this is the story that Kay was going around telling people, whatever. Kay was saying that she um she had forgot. That's what she was telling people. She said she forgot that I was in the car. She was like, when it was time to go, I wasn't in the car. So she had left. And that was her little phony story. She had said something else, too. I think she was like, she had forgot. And she got in the car. Or I never got in the car with her. That's what she said. 
that was her story or whatever i don't care i don't care if i say it's time to go and my friend she's still in everybody's face talking acting like it's not time to go she could be getting on my nerves i could be so irritated like i said it's time to go i would never leave my friend nowhere first of all life's too real to be leaving people places that they know i'm not even from here like i don't even know where i'm at somebody say what's the street up the street i don't know like you know what i mean you don't leave your friends nowhere that's unacceptable so I don't care if I was with my friend and she was ready to go and I was, I mean, I was ready to go. She wasn't ready to go. It was time to go. She, she wasn't ready to go. I would still have never left my friend. My bad, my cat is going out. But I would still have never left my friend just because I don't move like that. Friends, y'all going to bump heads. Friends are going to do stuff you don't like. It's going to be times when you're going to have to repeat yourself more than times. You're going to have to be a mom to your friend sometimes. Like, it's situations like that all the time. Like, it's times I was with my cousin. She was getting my nerves. We checked the situation. We passed it. So... I would never leave nobody nowhere. If in the day if I'm supposed to be riding with you and I'm supposed to be in your car with you, you should have made sure I was in your car before we left. Period. Like, period. If you said it was time to go and I wasn't in the car when you got to the car, oh, wait, she not here. Let me go get her. Like, let me car phone a couple times. Like, that's how that go. Period. And yeah, somebody mom should have cussed her out about that because my auntie didn't play nothing like that. But yeah. So. Um, that's what she tells me. She's telling me what Kay said about me. I could tell she's telling me that to make me say something about Kay. So I'm feeding her satisfaction because y'all thinking that I'm not understanding what's going on, but I do understand. So I'm feeding her satisfaction. She's telling me what Kay said because she really wanted me to say something. So I tell her, I was like, at the end of the day, she left me. I called her her name. I was like, she left me. I'm not feeling it. And I'm not cool with her no more. That's what it is. And I said... At the end of the day, I don't care if I wasn't at the car, whatever, you don't leave. Basically, what I just told y'all, that's what I tell her, whatever. And she was just sitting there, she was like, oh, well, da da da. Just acting like, oh, well, you know, that's what. She didn't have no commentary towards it. It just showed me you playing both sides, basically. But I just really said that to her because I know she was going to go tell her friend. So now I'm using you as my flunky. We really playing with each other. You see what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking, like. So I'm like, all right. So fast forward to the into the day, um, my homegirl at the time, the one that I, that I ended up taking me home, she was like telling me how people kept trying to ask her what happened, and she was telling me how she was dismissing them and checking all of them, which that really made me feel like that was my rock. I'm like, okay, you really my friend, because everybody else was just showing a, you know. So she was telling me how she was like they was coming up to her and ask her, and she was dismissing them. And I was really rocking with her for that because as you should, not only was she dismissing them, but she was checking them. And I'm like, I rocks with you. And she was just basically telling them, like, it's, that's not my business. And it wasn't her business to tell y'all anything. Like, and it's not y'all's business. So she was telling me that, like, throughout our passing period, she was letting me know what I went on like that. And she said it was really getting on her nerves how they was all acting. Like, she really ain't expect that from them. I'm like, me neither, but I ain't really tripping. Like, we all still young. Everybody ain't on this level. Like, this new to them. You know what I'm so, yeah. So, what the fuck? So, I get to lunch. I had went to my lunch, and then I, this was like my first time doing it. I had went to somebody else's lunch, but I had walked to somebody else's lunch with somebody else. I forgot who I was with, but I was with somebody at somebody else's lunch. It so happened to be K lunch. I didn't know that was her lunch, nothing like that. I just so happened to go to another lunch. It was her lunch. I think it was the lunch before my lunch, actually. I think so. So I went to that lunch, and I was in there, and I seen Kay, and she was just kind of, like, making his face. I think she thought I was going to come at her wrong, but I wasn't on that with her. Like, I really didn't care about it. Like I said, it happened yesterday. Like, if I was tripping about it, as soon as I stepped foot where I knew he was, I would did the most, but I was not tripping about it. You were gonna know if I was tripping. I wasn't tripping right at all. Like that was little kid stuff. It just showed me your character, and that's it. That's all I could take from it. I was not upset about it. So yeah, she was just kind of standing there looking. Like she, she, I think she felt like I was gonna come at her, but I was on that. You would just tell by her face and her body language, like. And I think when I was there, like people were slick trying to tell her that I came in there. Like they was just trying to like had their own little thing going on thinking we into it we not into it y'all because if we was into it all of this y'all keep talking to me like it just would have went way different like, i was not into it like i was into it 
And if I was into her at this point, I would have to be in suit with them because they would be throwing me off. But I'm really just acting oblivious to it, right? So, yeah. Um, and then it's like, as I'm in there, she's saying I wasn't really, like, trying to get into her. It wasn't really nothing with me. Like, because I'm acting like myself. Like, I didn't like the situation, but I didn't. Like I said, I ain't about to come and overdo it because I know how I get. So, I'm just sure. So, um... I could tell like her vibe kind of changed when she realized I was chilling. That's what I'm trying to say. So after that or whatever, school was over. And me and my homegirl was talking about it all together. I'm telling her how I felt. She telling me how she felt. I'm telling her how I could have reacted. Like we just chopping it up. She saying how she didn't like the fact that they thought this was a time to like be on grimy to grimy stuff basically. And we was agreeing, just chopping up about the situation. And then the next day, I think that might be the last day of school because we probably had a game on Thursday and then Friday was school and then it was the weekend. When I came up to school after that, it was squashed. The only difference was I didn't talk to Kate no more. She would like slick try to talk to me. I was not feeling it. Like, don't talk to me. Like, And it was like, if she would apologize to me, I probably would have been on some like, I was still not going to talk to her, but I wouldn't have really. But it wasn't that I was holding a grudge with her. It was just like, I don't have a reason to talk to you. You're not a friend to me. You just showed me that, so I'm not going to speak to you. And we was on the same track team, so I eventually ended up speaking to Kay again. But, like, a long time. It took a very long time for me to speak to Kay again. A very long time. She could tell you. It took a long time. But I don't have any problem with Kay, and she know that. Um, it's I, like It's actually been times where... Kay took me in her car to like get food and stuff so I don't have any problem with Kay like that squash she never did give me an apology I just like kind of let it go because it just was what it was I don't have a problem with anybody in that story but me I I eventually just end up leaving the situation alone I actually seen Kay recently so it's no issues with me and Kay but she did have me messed up I ain't gonna lie but I just left it alone because I'm matured like it wasn't like at that point it's like you understood what you did you seen how i moved towards you you learned your lesson like, i wasn't sure but yeah that was a story time i think this is one of my best stories i've ever told so far but it's so fresh all my other story times be old that's why i be the way it is but thank y'all for watching hopefully this was a good video don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on social media follow me on that instagram on the ground. And yeah, this is my birthday month. Big Virgo, 9 11, baby. What? Who who sent me? This is my birthday month. Y'all wish me happy birthday. My birthday is on Sunday this month. Sunday. I'm a September Virgo. August Virgo, don't count. I'm just playing. Because they going to be mad if I say that. But yeah, I'm out of this thing, y'all. I got more story times if y'all want more story times. Um, I've been kind of wanting to tell the story time a long time ago. But as far as me recording, that was always a hassle because I've been made that story time like, in the summertime. And also, um, I wanted to wait a while because some of the stuff I probably said in the video, like, you know, I don't know. I don't really care because it is what it is. I kept everything, you know. Everything I said is the truth, so it ain't nothing nobody could be mad about. I don't have no issues with nobody. I don't look at nobody no way. It ain't no issues. I only, only ever have issues with my bed platinum and pressure for me to have an issue with them. Ain't nobody ever gone apply nothing for me to have no issues with them, so. Yeah, we off that. I did that three years ago in school, but everybody, I don't do that, so it's no issue with nobody. Even even past story times, when I tell story times, I'm just telling my experience. That's it. It's no hard feelings. It's nothing. So it's nobody. It's nothing. This is old experiences. We had our chance. If you wanted to get on your bully, we had our time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. Go do that. Follow me on Twitter. This is just more videos y'all want to see. And we out of here.